Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the uh, electric roof on the California Ocean. Uh, to my surprise we were checking through what videos we've been doing recently and uh, realised we hadn't actually covered the uh, electric roof on the 6.1. So, uh, so here we are today, thought uh, it's probably about time that uh, we did look at it, uh, how you actually get it to go up and down on the control panel. It's a very, very similar operation to the uh, 6 and the uh, 5 operation as far as how it works, uh, it just looks a little bit different as well. So uh, let's get into it and uh, we'll see where we start. Okay, so before we actually put the roof up, uh, obviously you've arrived somewhere where you're at home, uh, you're on a level ground, uh, so you know that you don't need to move again uh, from on there. You can, the vehicle will actually drive around with the roof up, but as you can imagine, you don't want to drive too much with the uh, with the roof up on there. It's just for moving the vehicle around, as uh, uh, you know, if you need to move it slightly after you put it up. Okay, before we actually put the roof up, uh, important things to remember: you need to have at least the driver and passenger windows open. Uh, and so, what that's allowing to do is, when the roof actually opens um, and it comes up, it's drawing air in. So it's got somewhere to draw that air in from. If everything was shut, uh, it wouldn't be. Uh, it'd be very diff it'd be more difficult for it to open. Uh, and again, it's the opposite when it comes down. So when it comes down, obviously, uh, it's got somewhere for that air then to go out of the uh, out of the windows. Uh, now they say they use them front ones because obviously this is where the, the hole is, uh, where it's coming from there. Uh, with my experience is really as long as you've got something open on the vehicle, uh, obviously if it's a nice warm day and the weather's nice outside you might have the side door open or just the, the door open like we have here uh, it will be more than adequate. Uh, if it's a bit breezy and windy out there um, obviously you're better than just having a window because uh, you get less chance for example of big gusts of winds coming in and, the, and changing the air pressure to so when the canvas actually naturally folds in, it might fold out instead. So my advice is when you're putting it up really, keep a door open, but ideally just you, uh, drop your window slightly uh, on both sides. So uh, let's get started actually doing the operation of the roof. Now I tend to find it's easy, I'm right-handed, uh, so I tend to find it's easiest from the driver's seat uh, to put the, uh, the roof up. You can check that out yourselves and find out how uh, the best way for you to do it. Uh, but from here, so the first thing to do is to remove this, uh, to just give it a pull. And that then folds back into there and you can see your canvas now here uh, is going to drop down from on there uh, and then we go to the control panel that's on here uh, now to operate the roof uh, you don't have to have the engine running but you do have to have the ignition on uh, for it to work so uh, turn on the ignition uh, obviously your lights come up on there uh, find the pop-up roof on the screen which is there uh, obviously it's saying it's closed at the moment uh, and then you'd find which one open or close between these you're on and then press and hold the button so it's basically just said please check there's enough room up there which there is so I'll give it another go and there the roof goes and I, I do say this a lot but <laughs> the hardest bit of the electric roof uh, is keeping your finger on the button uh, and up it goes we're shooting this in real time as well, so give you an idea how long it takes. And that's it. Uh, so it really is nice and simple. It doesn't take very long at all uh, for it to go up. Uh, that's obviously now open and it's fully positioned. Uh, so the last thing you've got obviously is, is the bed here. So if you're not using the bed at this point, uh, this can just get pushed straight up. And then that opens out uh, to your uh, your head height, so obviously you've got a lot more room in the vehicle. Uh, really changes the uh, how the vehicle appears on the inside once you've uh, once you push that up. Uh, now, obviously, just going back to the canvas, we've done ones on canvas before. But just to remind you, on the ocean one, you've got two uh, window meshes on each side. Uh, they're on here. I'll show you those quickly again, which we've done before. So, you little mesh things in there as a window. Uh, and you've got one at the front here and you've got your big zip out as well uh, that's at the front here as well so uh, you will notice you've got little side vents at the top on here uh, obviously they are just to allow ventilation into the uh, into the cab as well uh, so to put the roof down pretty much exactly the opposite of what we've already done uh, so obviously this here you need to pull this down so that you know that part of the bed is actually back uh, to where it needs to be uh, back to the control panel uh, I would advise that you, if you've got anything open that's in there, so your, uh, your windows at the side for example, make sure those are all zipped back, uh, it just makes it fold a lot better. Uh, again, uh, so if you're on your main screen, you'd obviously find pop-up roof. Again, open and close, make sure you're on the closed one that's there. Press and hold it, and then in a minute it's going to come up with a warning. 
Uh, bed roof down already, roller shutter open and windows already open. Uh, so basically, the, is this down flat? Yes. Uh, is this open? Yes. And then your windows open. So it's like one little check to make sure that all those things, uh, you've done those as well. Uh, and then just carry on and the roof comes down. Uh, now we're going to shoot this again in real time so you know how long it takes it for it to come down. But as it comes down, I just tend to give it a little bit of a pull that's on here. And that's it. Uh, the roof is all down uh, from on there. Um, but we are just going to go on a recap very quickly. So just give us a second and we'll pop the roof back up. Okay, so I've just put the roof slightly back up again because uh, I wanted to show you then how long it actually takes the roof to come down in one motion from top to bottom. Uh, but there is something I wouldn't really, most of the time, I wouldn't advise you to do all that in one quick go. Because uh, for me, what I like to do is, is halfway between it when it's held down, is pop my head up and have a quick look and just make sure all your canvas is actually folding in uh, as you would expect it to do. So you can stop this control panel on and off as much as you like, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you take your finger off, it'll just stop where it is. But you can have a quick look up. Uh, and I can see all the canvases moved in. Um, one slight advantage now with this is you, you might uh, have read and things like that about you know canvas getting snagged and things like that. They have obviously changed the canvas uh, from the T5 uh, version uh, to this slightly more hard wearing uh, material, which is in the um, uh, which they use now. I uh, intend to find that does fold in a lot easier than it used to uh, on on the older vehicles. So um, so that has helped in this situation. You don't tend to find it moving out. It's sort of quite a lot thicker uh, as it goes. Uh, on the, the new versions. But you've had a quick look, you can see everything's coming in as nice as it should do. Um, so you can just carry on with the function. So again, as I said, when it's coming down, you can stop it at any point. Um, that's it completely down. And then what you do at this point is up to you, but I tend to tuck stuff away a bit. Make sure it's all tucked up. And that's it, as simple as that, pulled it back. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how the actual mattress upstairs works in the bed section, uh, I'll put a link in above, uh, so you can just click that link there and it'll show you the upstairs bed, the actual mattress and the, uh, the springs, etc. how that works as well. So please uh, click that link and have a look at that. As I said before, is, is for, to use the electric roof, you do have to have the keys uh, key on and on to ignition. The engine doesn't need to be started, but it does need to be uh, in that position for it to actually work, so it allows you to put it up and down. The next important thing out of all of that is to have a window window open, one of these windows or both windows open at the front when it's going up or down or if it's a nice day at door, just so there's some air there to uh, to allow the you know to come in and come out of the vehicle. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you have uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, it always helps. If you don't already subscribe, uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you again soon.